What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Uh, I've made one like this already, but it seemed to get a lot of views and people seem to like it and loads of people seem to comment on it. So I thought it'd be rude not to do another one, basically. Um, but I am reasonably well lit today and that's because I went out and got myself a new ring light. Not just any ring light, it's a vlogging kit. Oh yes, it's a kit. Because you know, serious people like me need kits. Um, this is actually like the nicest ring light slash phone holder thing that I've found. I've gone through maybe four different ring lights and tried and tested and sent back and got one from uh, Amazon, which was like clamps, but then the clamps didn't fit my table. So I had to send that back. One was a Christmas present, but it didn't hold my phone in a landscape kind of format which is how YouTube shoots most of its content and that's how it looks better um, so that had to go back and then I bought this from Mankind yes Luna changing my super professional there having my cat literally change my phone with its tail that's like a proper cat um, so this one actually has the phone on the outside and the ring light just literally above it so you will lit and you can change the angle of your ring light as well uh, you can change the colour from like white to yellow light, which is like a bit unnatural, to just like a normal light. I think I've actually got the white light on at the moment and it just seems to light me up better. This is the only light lighting me in quite a dark living room right now. Uh, because it's half past five at night in the UK and it's still considered like winter, so it's quite dark. Um, it's made by Red 5, I think they're called. Um... And I bought it in Mankind for £20 and it was on offer. Um, so if you're looking for a vlogging kit or even just a ring light for whatever you do. Obviously I vlog and make TikToks. Um, but if you're just looking for something that's a little bit better. The um, tripod is super, super stable. I love this tripod. Um, 20 quid. Go and get yourself one. I really, really like it. And it's so easy to assemble. It literally took me three minutes to put this thing together. Whereas the other ones I've had took me... A day in an age. Um, I did also buy a proper legit microphone however it's a little bit unstable it's not really held in properly it kind of just held by mesh and it wobbles quite a lot. Um, the mesh itself wouldn't screw properly as if there was a problem with the thread um, so that's going back to the shop however there was quite a nice one for an extra 20 quid on top of what I paid for the original microphone. It's also held to the table by clamps, but you can move the arm backwards and forwards as opposed to like moving a tripod, which the microphone was on backwards and forwards. So as long as the clamp can attach to the table, I will get that one instead. And if the clamp is the same size as the other clamps from the cameras, I'll just have to look elsewhere like Amazon or something. But Mankind have got so much stuff if you need keyboards, if you need gaming stuff, if you need vlogging kits, tripods. Um gimbals the handheld gimbal that i've got um head down to mankind if they haven't already shut because we know they're kind of open at christmas early part of the year and then they seem to shut and disappear but you can still buy it online i believe so i need to get this microphone back before they shut my local store so anyway i haven't told you all but i made another order with dead sweet they are by far the best sweet company I'd say online, but definitely on TikTok as well. All the other sweet shops seem to be really, really expensive. Whereas Dead Sweet, I think, is really, really competitive pricing and they're forever updating their stock list. And um, this time they have one of my favourites, which happens to be saltwater taffy. Now, I love saltwater taffy and the flavours they have in stock at the moment are immense. So if you like your saltwater taffy and you don't know where to get it from, Head to Dead Sweet. I will put everything you need to know in the description. There's even a discount code from a girl on TikTok that you can use. It gets you 10% off. Give them a bash. If you like sweets, basically, why would you not? So um, there's no like little uh, note inside telling me what, what taffy is what, um, which is a real shame. I wish they'd done that. Um, but they're swirly. They're very soft. I'm looking forward to trying this. Basically what I'm going to do, the idea for the saltwater taffy. Uh, my beautiful fiancé has never tried saltwater taffy before. So what we're going to do is lay them all out on the table. Probably just one piece and we're going to share it. And we're going to blindfold. Not that you'd be able to tell what flavour that is anyway. Um, we're going to blindfold, try it, write down what we think the answer is. And then just make a vlog out of it basically. And you'll get to see what Becky's like. 
she'll get a bit more comfortable with being in front of the camera because obviously there's lots of stuff coming up like our trip to Edinburgh which I want to vlog and uh, it'll be my birthday and it'll be Easter and it'll just be loads of opportunity to vlog but I need her to be more comfortable so the taffy that I've actually got is cotton candy I'm assuming it's that one um yeah all just a guess to me uh watermelon I'm assuming this could be watermelon green and pink no idea uh blueberry again I'm assuming I'm assuming they've put them in order I think I know what they've done blueberry pina colada there should be 10 pina coladas I mean, I haven't got a foggy. Oh my god. If you like pina colada. That one's free. You can you can just get um me singing as a freebie. Uh I've literally no idea which one's pina colada. Oh, it could be that one. There's two of this one. Pina colada. What is pina co co coconut and pineapple? So it's probably that one. Uh grape. Grape is usually like a purpley colour. Am I right? Am I wrong? Don't know. That could also be purple. Anyway, cinnamon roll should be two of those. That's definitely got to be cinnamon roll. I mean, just look at it. Uh, bubble gum. I'm assuming that's bubble gum because it's pink. Pineapple. It's probably that one. Uh, root beer float. I'm assuming it's that one. And then we are only left with blue. So maybe that's the blueberry. Anyway, those are the flavours. Um, cotton candy, watermelon, blueberry, pina colada, grape, cinnamon roll, bubble gum, pineapple and root beer float, which is one of my absolute favourite flavours. Um, so that's it. You get five pieces per order. Um, an order is whatever is in this little bag. Um, and it was 75p, I believe. For five pieces of saltwater taffy, I think that's absolutely amazing pricing. Um, I can't let you know what it tastes like because I'm saving it for the vlog that we do. So hopefully we'll ship that soon. Possibly over the weekend, we're, we're on our own. Um, my daughter will be with her daddy. So maybe we'll do that this weekend. I can let you know what it actually tastes like. Do they taste legit or do they taste like artificial? Like artificial candy can sometimes taste like. But there you go. Lots and lots and lots of saltwater taffy uh, to bring to a vlog sometime soon um little bag this is see this is what's wrong with holland and barrett they just don't wrap stuff up do i remember buying a bottle i have no idea um so this is obviously a drink i love the way that dead sweet wrap their packages aside from the salt water taffy because you have no idea what flavor is what um especially if you're like me you've got multiple bags of flavors um, so maybe I'll just send them a little more email so they can be a little bit more clear with me Which is which because they don't know I could be giving it out as a gift and I don't want to give the wrong one to the wrong people um, Right, oh my god guys 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 there might be a world shortage of bubble wrap by the time we finish this video Okay, this is the Fanta Fanta Shakata 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 that is a banging kind of blue. I am all over that. Um, no idea what flavour it is. Uh, I think it said it online. Not a clue. Um, but again, it was like £1.15 or something like that. Very reasonably priced if you want to try some different drinks. I highly recommend Dead Sweet. And they've always got the imported stuff as well that would just be ridiculous down the corner shop. So uh, Fanta. Oh god, we're going to be here forever. Talk amongst yourselves. Um, went for a nice meal last night it was absolutely hilarious so we were supposed to go to Wagamama's um, but as we walked through the door the, the, the waiter the greeter whoever he was the, the doorman basically said this is what we don't have and then proceeded to show us the whole menu like they didn't have nearly everything they had no children's meals which is unfortunate because I had a child with me um, they hardly had any vegan food, which is a shame because I order off the vegan menu. They had um, no starters, which is a shame because I eat a lot of the starters. Um, and minimal desserts. So I don't understand how people were still staying and ordering. Maybe there was something remote on there that a load of people eat, but we went to Bella Italia instead. 
Fanta Exotic. This is a firm favourite in our house. I've had that before. I believe I bought two cans of that one. I bought three cans of that one. Definitely a, a firm favourite in our house. Um, a lot of these imported Fantas don't actually contain sucralose, whereas the UK Fantas, surprisingly enough, contain sucralose. So I don't know what, what other markets are doing and why we're using sucralose and they're not. There's the other one, Fanta Exotic. It's like, um, what's it like? It's like a different, um, kind of tropically. It's quite hard to explain what it tastes like. It's just really, really nice. Damn, you guys, man. Oh, my God. Uh, I think we've got a new one, one we have never tried before. Bearing in mind, this is my fourth Dead Street order. Fourth or third? whatever it is there will be more after this i guarantee it because i literally i think i do one every other month when our big pouches have run out um so this is what's left from our previous order this is the uh dead blue i believe dead wed uh dead wed there's what like a third left there and then bubs which is my absolute favorite um especially these ones banana and caramel and these ones uh the blue and pink are my favorite so maybe a third left on each bag um, but when you get to half a bag, you realise you need to reorder. This one is the Mojito 7-Up. Um, it has no alcohol in it. So it just, it's very cold. You can tell it's been kept outside in my shed while I was at work. We have another piece of paper. Okay, so I've got the saltwater taffy ingredients, but it, there's still no telling me... Which salt water taffy is which salt water taffy? Oh, it was packed by William. Thank you, William. Appreciate it. I have no idea who William is. Does he get a lot of airtime on the old tiki toki? Uh, if he does, and I've missed it, my bad. I'm very, very sorry about that. Uh, I believe this is the third can of the exotic. I don't know why I'm struggling. I literally have a steak knife here that opened the box. So I could pretty much just cut through like that. The sellotape, so that's been hilarious. You have wasted your time for 11 minutes. There's the third can of the Fanta Exotic. So we are well and truly brewed up. We've got all the drinks in the world that we could need. So yeah, like I said, like my drink spectrum is very limited now because of what is whatever wrong with me. Uh, and I bought two cans of the Mojito 7-Up, I believe. I did. There's the second one. Oh, already we're looking stocked up to the nines. Another airbag. So much fun to pop though. Oh. My cat's having an absolute field day. Right, and then, because Christmas is seemingly over, they decided to put, what are these called? Dead festive. Oh, bar humbug. The bar humbug's up for three pounds for this whole bag. Uh, I think it's 500 grams. It's 500 grams. Still, three pounds for 500 grams of seats that was probably 11, I think it was, when it was Christmas. It's very, very good. So, obviously, I bought two. Um, one was meant to be for my mother, but looking at this beautiful bag of sweets, I think I'm just going to keep it. Um, because, you know, selfish and stuff. And I just, I want more sweets in this house. So, there you go. Two bags of bar humbug. Uh, they were three pounds each, so six pounds for a kilo which is very, very good. I have another. <coughs> Less me. <coughs> Are we going to go for a third? No. Bar humbug ingredients because there's no sticky label on the back. So that's useful. Thank you very much. Uh, right. What else we got? We have some jammy donuts. I just thought these looked really cool. Um, I think I only got one. I only got one. Um, gummy donuts. I think they just look really sweet and I'm, you know, I'm a sucker for anything gummy. Share size. I, I mean, who am I sharing with? My daughter? Like, this is, this is at best a one, a one person job. Like, there's no way this is a share size. This is a share size. This, come on now. You're having a laugh, aren't you? Um, these I just thought were cute and I've no idea what I'm going to do with them, but I'm getting very inspired by people that are putting them in cocktails. 
So they're little like teddy bear lollies. I don't know if you can see that guy right there. Um, no flavour again. Oh, I think my label's come off. I don't know where my label went. Uh, this is... Baby, doesn't even tell me on the label what, what my bear is. No idea. Uh, but anyway, I got a pink one. I got a yellow one. I got two red ones. So I'm assuming they're cinnamon. Oh, they're cinnamon. No idea. No idea. Uh, and a blue one. Uh, I, don't, I buy the most random shit on Dead Sweet. Sometimes because I need to like add another 50p and then I get like delivery or I need to round it up to a certain amount of money so I just buy lollipops a weird ass singular gummy cake no idea thank god that doesn't say share size on it because you'd be having an absolute laugh and milky bar chew strawberry flavor this is from India uh that's for Becky another one of these little weird donut things um, a dairy milk lolly, just because I've never, never heard of it before. And I am always down to try new stuff, so milky bar lolly. And last but not least, extreme sour bites. Now, I'm always surprised when these things arrive because they are way smaller than you think they are online. What you need to do is read how many grams it weighs, how much, how big is the, um, portion so this is 23 gram box so if you're online and it looks massive check the weight so obviously I know that this was singular and I knew that this was tiny um I know I got five pieces stuff like that but when you get little boxes like this and you're like ah oh, you probably get like a, a regular size of M&Ms or whatever just watch your size and that's it that's an empty box right there 31 items for 31 pounds I think I did rather well there um and I can't wait to try it all Aside from the drinks, I've already tried. Uh, I want to try the Mojito 7-Up. So maybe I'll have that tonight with a bit of dinner. Um, I'm going to be in touch and try and ask or find out a way to know which taffy is which. Um, because I think that's let them down a little bit. Whether you put a sticker on the front or a card on the inside, I need to know which taffy is which. Um, aside from that, I, again, I'm very, very impressed with Dead Sweet. It's taken a little longer this time to get it here, to like post it. Um... I think it took five days, but I have no issue with postage whatsoever. I am not one of these people that are like, come on, I ordered 24 hours ago, where's my food? It takes as long as it takes, as long as I get notification that it's been shipped or it's with the courier, whatever it is. Um, it's nice to get some communication. And I left my phone number this time with them, so they text me and they were very efficient. I ordered on the Saturday, I think it got shipped on the Tuesday, and it came today, which is the Thursday. So, five days, I think that's absolutely fine. I did order quite a big order. There's a lot to pack, a lot to wrap. It must have taken somebody at least maybe half an hour to get all this stuff together, to put it in the box, to print out my, my allergens and stuff like that. So, you have to bear that in mind. Dead Sweet are a very big company now. They must get a lot of orders. They're especially shipping overseas now, which is amazing. Um, support local businesses basically so more support the small businesses if you can order from these guys absolutely do so definitely go and get yourself a bag of something um, and then try these random little like foreign foods because I asked my sister to bring back stuff from Pakistan and there was nothing like everything is spicy so if you go to a sweet shop or you look at a sweet shop online grab some weird ass funky little bits just to try because for goodness sake just bored in England, I'm bored of the candy, I'm bored of the chocolate, I'm bored of everything. The drinks are bland, they've all got sucralose in them. I'm going to start looking abroad for other stuff. So there you go. There's my, my reasoning behind it. The hair is looking very fresh today. I didn't really like it today, but now I'm seeing it in this light. I am enjoying my hairstyle. Anyway, I'm going to go. That's me. Um, I think this has looked way better, but leave in the comments what you think, whether it's good with the ring light or without it. Um, we're on 89 subscribers and the last video 98 of you were subscribed so it means the the regulars are coming back which is awesome um, if I could just get to 100 that would be flipping amazing that would be so so cool I just I wouldn't have a clue what to do with myself and yes in theory it's not a lot of subscribers especially for how long I've been working on this channel but 
it still means a whole heap to me so that would be epic also i think we're 112 away from a thousand on tiktok so that is also pretty damn cool uh, I'm not about numbers. There are TikTokers who are like, oh, I'm only on 300,000 or whatever, blah, blah. Do you know what? If you're going to do stuff like this, do it for the passion. Do it for the hobby. Do it for the little things like buying yourself a new ring light or getting yourself a damn microphone. Do it for the small things and people will find out you're more genuine than worried about numbers. Like, this won't last, okay? Social media will have its moment. You'll earn your money and then people will get bored of you and look at something else. If I could just continually grow, however however small, however slowly it happens, that still means the world to me. So thank you, as always, to those who, who have subscribed, those who have commented on my videos and continually talked to me. Uh, I absolutely love hearing from you. I love hearing your feedback on the videos. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this Dead Sweet unboxing uh, and be sure to click in for the next one. Thanks a lot.